Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Nicholas. I'm from Shopware and I'm the developer evangelist from Shopware in case you don't know me. And um, with me today is Mr. Sander. No, actually that's your first name. <laughs> and he's from a view storefront. Maybe you can introduce yourself and uh, tell me a little about uh, what you are doing here at the Shopware headquarters. Sure. So I started at View Storefront about three or four months ago as uh, as CTO, mm -hmm. uh, coming from from an e-commerce background, uh, mostly backend development, um, and I got on board there to to help out on the product. Um, and we are lucky enough to work with with Shopware to to actually start developing a, a tightly integrated solution. So you are from View Storefront. That's and right. View Storefront is working with Shopware. So far, so good. Now, <clears throat> there in, in the name View Storefront, we have View. Yeah. So that means Vue.js. Right. So right. your product is based on Vue.js. That's that's a chosen technology. That's great. That's awesome. Um, what is View Storefront anyway? In case you don't know, I, I think most people know, but just, you know. Right. So at the heart of it, it's, it's a PWA solution. And... PWA is not just one technology, oh, right? What is PWA? PWA is, is a collection of ideas, technologies that should in, uh, bridge the gap between a responsive website that, that would run a website, web shop that would run on your mobile phone and having a native app. Mm -hmm. right? there, are, there are inherent uh, downsides and benefits to both of them, right? A responsive site, it works on mobile. You don't have to download it. You don't have to install anything, but you do notice there is a, a slight delay. There's there's less interactivity as you have with a with a native app, right? So your storefront is uh, only for mobile devices. It works on both. It works on desktop and it works on on mobile. And even on desktop, it has a lot of the benefits. I think it was originally the focus to do it on mobile, mm -hmm. but it works on both. Okay, so um, I'm downloading View Storefront and then I have a storefront for my Shopware shop. Yeah, that's correct. So it's, it's uh, you install it via NPM. Um, and, and for the JavaScript developers on the rest, that's, that's basically uh, NPM create and then you create a certain project. Mm -hmm. It will give you uh, bundles that, that are part of, of the, the view core. It will give you some, some other bundles that are uh, part of you, right? We build on top of that. Uh, and then it's easy to extend since you have the NPM uh, bundling mechanism, which is for the backend developers kind of composer for, uh, for JavaScript. Um, and then, of course, you'll you'll have your your shopper behind that, but that's on a slightly different stack. I think that's one of the bigger challenges when you're setting this up the first time. There is definitely separation between the front end and the back end. So you have um, uh, you're talking to shopper about the API. Yeah, exactly. But <clears throat> what's wrong with with shopware? Why do you build another storefront? <laughs> well, I wouldn't call it wrong. I would call it an optimization. So there, there are some specific use cases for PWA because mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong inherently with with the traditional HTML and JavaScript frontend, right? I mean, that works fine. Even in mm -hmm. 2019, we can still get away with that. Where the power of PWA really comes out is when uh, we start to leverage this thing called service workers, for example, which is a part of the, the, the technology where... In essence, it's quite simple. It's just a small JavaScript file that you register and the browser understands this is a worker that can work in a different process. So if you look at the browser with the different tabs, it's all different processes, right? Mm -hmm. um, so the service worker will, will work in the background from your site. Even if you close your site, the service worker is still there. And that's a very powerful technology, right? Because what, what do I do in, in the service worker? So imagine you have a catalog mm -hmm. and the customer visits your homepage and they're looking around on the homepage. In the background, you can already spin up a service worker that actually calls your server and tells me, okay, give me the top five categories that this, this uh, customer will likely visit. Don't give me the images, just give me some of the content, make sure that I can, can preload this, this stuff. Right? That, so it's that's faster it. for the customer. Right, so so once they start to browse those pages, it'll be very fast because the browser already has this data. The same thing, for example, for for the cart. Um, let's say we would uh, place an order 
but the server doesn't respond instantly, we can actually queue the order on the client side. And once there is a connection again with the server, we can we can shoot it through. So um, basically, view storefront. <clears throat> is a technology that uh, creates a much faster environment or storefront yep. um, at the cost of a higher technolog technological involvement of the developer? Sure, there there's definitely a certain complexity trade-off, right? Mm -hmm. If you're looking at your, your complexity budget, let's say you're, you're definitely investing on that end. It's not something that is per se plug and play, right? For, for the integration that we're building with Chopper, we'll have standard features, we'll have a standard layout and that kind sure. of stuff. But once you start to change behavior, mm -hmm. um, you really need to get involved. As well yes. as, but for example, the caching. Caching is a strategy, right? So you could cache everything, but then probably the phone will blow up because you're <laughs> downloading gigabytes of data. Yeah. So what you want to do is you want to really think about the things that you cache and how you cache it. Mm -hmm. I think that's a strategy. So it's something that is a next step in the way you you really uh, design your applications online. Is it, uh, would you advise people to do a dual stack where you have a PWA and your normal front end for the desktop? I wouldn't go that way. Okay, so Once it's either one or the other. So making the distinctions very hard on on the device level, basically mm -hmm. because um, it's it's on the client side. One option you can do is uh, elements where where there's less content to be cached. Maybe do a hybrid. So the checkout could very well be plain HTML, mm -hmm. right? You you do your normal integrations because the checkout is dynamic. So there's yeah. not that much to be cached anyway. I mean, we can't really cache your address. That, that wouldn't make <laughs> sense. Yes. Um, but then on the catalog side, we have a lot of uh, benefits from, from actually implementing this caching and these service workers. So maybe focus on that while you take just a normal integration for a checkout. That sounds like definitely uh, something exciting to uh, implement and it is. To, to do with your shop. Um, one last question, because this uh, is um, layouted as a short interview. Um, why shopware with you view storefront? I mean, I could go on why shopware, but why shopware with you storefront? <laughs> sure. So I think there, there are two main reasons. One of the big benefits for me, uh, having shopware is already on view storefront. Right uh, or uh, already on view mm -hmm. in the backend. So this is already part of the stack of the Shopware 6 developer, mm -hmm. which is a major benefit, right? It's not a new technology that you have to learn. Well, I don't know any other uh, shopping system out there that, that already has this Vue.js integration already there. So it's less uh, for, for someone who uh, is developing for Shopware 6 anyway, he's used or she's used or the developer is used to uh, Vue.js anyway, so it's exactly one easy. less thing to to learn in our field, which is which is right. always valuable. And the second thing, Shopper Six has n true native APIs. It is built from the ground up with APIs, and think that is something that is hugely underestimated. But but you're even using your own APIs internally, meaning mm -hmm. the system itself uses the APIs. So these APIs have full coverage, right? It's not just half of the functionality comes from this API. And I think that makes for a very powerful integration with Vue Storefront because it really needs to, those APIs to, to interact with the system. Okay, great. Sander, thank you for this interview. Great. Thanks for having and, me. Um, you should definitely check out Vue Storefront since um, it's awesome stuff. <laughs>